Good morning, hello and welcome to a really sunny Saturday morning. I just want to start by saying thank you to everyone who has booked onto this workshop this morning. Without you, this workshop wouldn't take place. I've sent hundreds of sun prints to people all over the UK this week. Um, so we're going to have an absolutely brilliant morning and I hope that the sun is shining where you are. I also want to ask you please, because this is a live, uh, because this is an online event, I'm unable to take photos of your beautiful prints. So if you could please, if you're posting any to social media, Instagram, I put, um, Facebook or Twitter, please use or the hashtag and also mention I printed that and then I'll be able to share all your wonderful prints with everyone else. So before we start I want to double check that you've got everything that you need to make your sun prints today. So you should have received an email this week, um, there was also a list of things you needed to get together um, on the booking form. So just make sure you have a black, your black envelope, your mystery black envelope that landed on your doormat this week, your leaves, petals, flowers, that sort of thing for making your prints, either a clip frame or some acrylic um, cardboard and for dog clips or pegs, and also a bucket of cold tap water or access to a tap. So for the first part, uh, we need to do that in the shade. So either find a shady part of your garden, or if you're in the house, just close your curtains. I'm gonna let you do that. Um, if, if, you're, if you've got everything with you, you just take, every, sorry, take everything with you apart from the bucket of water. So that's all the stuff you'll need to start your prints off. And the reason I'm asking you to do this is because once the sun prints of the cyanotypes get into the sun, they will start reacting very, very quickly to the light. So we need to start the first bit in the shade so you've got time to make your design up. So don't open those envelopes yet. I know you've been absolutely dying to do it, but we just need to wait a few more moments. So I'm gonna ask you, now that you're in the shade, just to decide on a how you want your design to look. So the sun prints that are in your envelopes are circular and they're about 20 centimetres in diameter. So if you just just have a sort of a go of putting all those feathers, leaves, petals, just in a bit of a design so that when we do take the, print, the sun prints out of the envelope then you'll know exactly what sort of design that you want to do. So just to give you some ideas, You might want to do something that's very structured. You might want to place them very carefully. You may want to do just an odd number. Say three, see that one, I'm battling against the wind here. Say three or say five um, petals, leaves, feathers together. You might want to just do a very random, just sprinkle everything onto the paper so it's very natural. Or maybe just a very simple, you see that one, very simple sprig of flower. So there's some ideas for you. I would definitely say that less is more. But you've got five, so you've got plenty of time to have a few goes and to make up deep designs, see what works best. So what I'm going to do now, hopefully you've come up with a design, I'm just going to pop you down and I'm going to show you how to do the next bit. I think everything's going to blow away so <laughs> bear with me. So hopefully you can see that there. So now it's time to take your sun prints out of the envelope, lay them onto that cardboard or the back of the clip frame, nice and flat, just spread it out for that crease. And then position your feathers, petals, leaves on top. I'm going to do just a random design. These are honesty seed heads, which I'm absolutely in love with at the moment. And you can probably see, I'm actually doing this in full sun, and you can see that the paper is turning blue as I speak. So I'm just gonna add 
just going to clip that down with the bulldog clips. If you're using flowers that possibly have quite a bulky back to them, you can just use scissors just to trim that down. What you want is to get contact with the, the leaf, the paper and the glass. Everything needs to stay flat. So when you're happy with that, the next thing to do is to carefully, I would keep it horizontal so that nothing moves about, take it into the sun and you'll see it reacting if you're in full sun. Um, what, so just to let you know various exposure times, so in full sun like I'm in at the moment, that's only going to take about five minutes and it's going to end up with a very deep indigo blue. On a cloudy day, you're probably looking at about 20 to 30 minutes and it will be sort of a mid blue. Unfortunately, you can't do this um, if it is raining, but go back and if it is raining where you are today, you can always go back and watch the Facebook Live video again and be able to do your sun prints on a nice sunny day. I can see that I've um, had some comments in, so I'm just gonna go through those while that, that exposes. Um, Kirsty, you've just um, messaged in. You're so excited because you're doing this for a second time. Yeah, I, it is a bit addictive. This workshop should really come with a warning. Um, Christina, you're having problems getting on. I hope you can see it now. Um, please do let me know if you can't. That's great. Oh. Okay, so hopefully you've seen, I'm going to give that a few more minutes, but while that's exposing, I'm going to show you the next step, which is fixing it. So this is a, um, this is a basic photography. So we're using terms such as exposure time, fixing, process, that sort of thing. So I'm going to grab my bucket of water and a print that I did for you earlier. So when, you, when your cyanotype is exposed um, and ready, you're going to notice that there's a, quite a contrast between the blue background, it's sort of a, it goes kind of a, 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 a sort of a muddy blue, um, there's a contrast between the blue background and the cyanotype paper as it was when you took it out of the envelope. So because it's quite sunny, I'm going to quickly just put this in the water um, and you'll be able to see that the chemicals wash off. This is a very, very weak solution once it's in here, these chemicals. So they won't do any harm if you pour it, when you pour it down the drain or pour it onto the garden and it won't do any harm to your hands either because it's very, very weak. And as I'm just washing that off, you'll see that the feathers are now the colour of the paper, which was originally white before I treated it. Just remember this, although this paper is designed to get wet, it is still paper. So when you're washing it off, just be careful that you don't rip it as you do that. So there we are. That is the cyanotype fixed. And that can now be dried. I'm going to just squeeze off the excess water very carefully and I'm going to dry it in a shady place and over time that will develop that blue. Because I've been in full sun today that's going to develop into I would think a very deep indigo blue. I'll put my bowl to one side. Actually, before I do that, 
I've just noticed that the one that I did for you just a few moments ago has exposed and I'm gonna just wash this one off too Now I've been practicing with some honesty seed heads all week and at first first of all there doesn't seem to be much contrast between the background and the honesty leaves but if you notice the honesty leaves have a certain sort of translucent quality to them so some of the light will have got through and some won't. So I'm just about to, if I can find it, I'm just about to show you one that I did during the week that came up very, very deep. Bear with me for two seconds. You can see I've had some more comments in, so I will get round to answering some of your comments in a minute too. And here, And here are those honesty seed heads that I did during the week. So you can see they've got an almost x-ray quality to them. They're quite beautiful, that's why I'm so in love with them. Right. So I'm just going to answer a few more of your comments, if I can see them coming up. Oh, so Sylvia's messaged in. Um, this is the first time for you, Sylvia. Yeah, it probably won't be your last because, as I said, it is really addictive. Um, Amanda, brilliant. You've got a lovely sunny day in Faversham. So your sun prints are only going to take um, a few minutes, maybe sort of five, ten minutes. I hope your boys are having fun doing these. Uh, Denise, yes, it is very exciting. I never, ever, ever get bored with this technique. And Nicola, you say it's brilliant. Oh, I'm so pleased that you're all having a really good time this morning doing some sun prints. Right, so I think that's all the comments. Um, I'm gonna say goodbye now and thank you so much for joining in this morning. I hope that you, the sun stays with you and you can continue making all your sun prints today. Um, if I've missed any comments, I'm gonna go through afterwards and I will answer those. So if you've got any questions, I'll answer them for you. I've had lots of people ask me about printing onto fabric. Yes, it is something that you can do. And at the moment, I'm just trying to find ways to make it cost effective for you so that we can do a fabric sun printing cyanotype workshop very, very soon. If you've joined us today and you weren't aware of the workshop, then you can book on to my next one, which is, I think it's on the 18th of August. But if you look at the events on my Facebook page, or my website iprintedthat.com then you'll be able to see uh, the date and the times and how you book on and receive your sun printing packs so thank you so much again and um, it's been a great morning i hope the sun shines on you wherever you are today have a wonderful saturday everyone bye for now bye